Dr. Lou Sally here. And years ago, Ken Niamatolo told me privately in his office that you can't just have one way to defend a three technique. So you can't just read a three technique the whole game. And I'm going to show you why. And look, Army, Navy, and Air Force have tried to block midline triple probably five plus different ways this year. But here's the bottom line. When you run mid-triple, if all you're going to do is read the three technique and read the five technique, all they're going to do is the three technique is going to take the dive, the five is going to take the quarterback, and they're going to run the backer over the top to take the pitch. Matter of fact, that's what New Mexico did against Air Force. Now, fortunately, Air Force figured out, well, we're just going to blow up the three technique and run off that block, and that's what they did, and that's why they ran zone dive 28% of the time. So you can't just run mid-triple every time you get a three technique. I made that mistake when I was young, and I do not want you to make the same mistake. But you got to have two ways to handle it. Yeah, the zone dive is great too, but the, tr the, the triple, the inside veer, 12 and 13, solves all the problems. Here's why. Because you're going to deuce the three technique. The guard and tackle are going to get their near knee through the crotch, near hand to the stomach, take four-inch northbound steps. The deuce call tells the center he's going to veer through the A-gap and he's going to get his left knee through the crotch of the mic. If the mic runs over the top, he doesn't chase him, he replaces him and blocks the free safety. Play state A-back steps with his inside foot and he'll get his left knee through the crotch of the mic. If the center gets to the mic, he'll be the one to end up on the free safety. So these two have these two. Backside scoops. Backside guard sprints belly button through the hip of the center. Backside tackle sprints his belly button through the hip of the backside guard. Backside receiver cuts off. Now, you've got a rule of two here. And I did a video on this a couple months ago. A rule of two. If it's a rule of two, the receiver's just going to crack the safety. You're going to make the corner the pitch key. He's number two. One, two. You don't want to make the safety the pitch key. We learned that from Paul Johnson years ago because then he'll just force and you'll get a gain of you know, four. And, you, and yeah, you can try to throw off that. That's great. But you want to make the corner the pitch key because if he chases the quarterback and you pitch the ball, there's nobody left. So what happens is the quarterback takes the snap, jumps in the gap, points the ball. B-back runs through the ball. He runs tight outside the double team and gets vertical. If number one takes the B, God help him, they probably won't. That's why they have seven dudes and six gaps. But let's say they do. He takes the B. Quarterback replaces him and scores. And if the corner could actually tackle him, which probably would need to be seated at the right hand of Jesus to do that, then the quarterback would stop his feet and flick the ball to the A back coming around. But the point of the video is you got to have two ways to handle a three technique. You, gotta, you can read them, but you can't read them every single play. You got to double them too. Because if not, they'll put him on the dive, him on the quarterback, and run him over the top on the pitch. And what Rocky Long did at New Mexico, he set that guy about six yards deep, and he made sure that they couldn't get over the top of him on mid-triple so they could three on three him. That's why Air Force wisely, they double to triple the three technique and handed the ball off. But also, in addition to that, they ran inside veer because you got one and two in this particular case. But really, for any time there's a three technique, you got to have two ways to handle it. I learned that from Coach Neil Matalolo many years ago, and I'm giving it back to you. Okay, coaches, if you want to run Army, Navy, and Air Force's offense the right way the first time, call me, 570-332-0265. 570-332-0265 and go to tripleoptionfootball.com slash testimonials. You can see all the success stories that come out of the camps and the academies. I have a client in Oklahoma who's playing in the state semifinals on Friday night. God bless them. God bless that team. So I hope people have drastic turnarounds every year. You want yours? Call me and then stick to the system. Have faith in the system. Trust the system. Love the system. Love the process. Love the procedure. You'll get there too. See you in the next video. I'll talk then.